Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video tutorial. So, um, the the idea between this this tutorial is that I got a comment the other day saying I, they want, or the people that watch my videos want more low poly tutorials, because that's what I'm trying to focus on in uh, designing. I want to model stuff and then incorporate that with 2D design, but I want to expand into different regions of design. So anyway, about uh, enough about me, let's just look at what we're creating today. So we're creating some low poly twisted trees here. As you see, our trees have got a bit of a twist to them. Um, I think they're very, very nice trees. I, I sort of have inspired uh, by autumn trees. So I added some pink trees in there just to get that autumn feel, even though autumn's very orange and red. But pink's, pink's cool. Okay, so that's what we're making today. So we'll be using Blender, of course, and I'll just, um, I won't go into the scene setup or anything, I'm just going to be going into, um, just modelling the trees. So let's get started. So I open up Blender, new file here, and we're just going to delete the default cube and a lamp. And since I'm using a proper keyboard this time, I'll be able to use some numpad control. So go to front view for us here, and we're going to shift A. We're going to add a mesh, an icosphere, and we're going to scale this bad boy up and scale it out. And that says we've got quite a fat, fat tree here. And we'll just thin them out a bit like so. There we go. So now we're just going to add a few modifiers. So as usual, we're going to add a decimate modifier and we're just going to lower our tree like so. 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, it's up to you. And a modifier we're going to add again, we're going to apply that modifier, we're going to add modifier. And a modifier we haven't used before is the simple deform modifier. And make sure yours has got um, twist applied and the angle we want on around 250. Two fifty. I think I might lower that angle to 200. 200 is a pretty nice angle. And it really depends on your personal opinion um, if you like these these twisted trees. You can also add a, um, yeah, I like this. Okay, we're just going to view the front and we're just going to bring this up. We can also just lower and etc. We're also going to give it a material. Make sure it's in cycles render. Use notes and the material I'm going to give it is a bit of a green head. So. I shouldn't be doing this, I'm just modeling mainly. But, and then we're just gonna shift A. So make sure my 3D cursor's in the center. So hit N to open up this little side panel here. And we're going to add a cylinder. Down here we wanna make sure our cylinder has six vertices. It's the standard or the default is 32 vertices. But um, we want six for today. And we're just gonna hide our iosphere up here. And we're just going to which is the top view? Okay, and we're just going to scale this in and scale this in like so. Just so it's like so, and we're just going to scale it up like so. Enter edit mode by hitting tab on your keyboard, then hit Z on your keyboard. To go into wireframe mode, click A. Then we're going to hit the B key. We're just going to select the bottom vertices. And we're just going to hit scale those. Scale those out like so. We're also going to then hit Control R. And put a cut in the center. We're going to scale this in. So it sort of has a bend to our tree here. Okay, looking good. We're also going to add a bit of a material to this. Just add a quick brown colour, like so. And now we can just unhide our icosphere, scale this down, and 
skillet. Just make it a bit fatter. There we go. And let's just move our icosphere. And there we have it, our low poly twisted tree in Blender. So thank you very much for watching this simple low poly tutorial. Well, low poly is simple. But anyway, thank you for watching this and I shall catch you in my next video tutorial.